there. So in this video, we're going to take a look at exporting our project and assets for our post-production use. So once we have our design all set, we can go here and go to export and that's going to open up this dialog box. Now we can save it in PNG, SVG or a PDF format. Now let's choose PDF from first. Now we can choose it as a single PDF file and we can choose it as multiple PDF files. Now if we choose multiple PDF files, we're going to get each artboard as a separate PDF file. And I can go and choose my destination and choose export all artboards. And uh, if I click on single PDF file, it's going to select all the artboards and put them into one PDF file. Pretty simple. Now let's go to SVG. Now SVG, we have two options over here, embed and link. And we also have an option which is going to optimize it. Uh, now, I'm not going to go too technical in this, but for those of you who use, who want it as SVG, we might know the reason and uh, how these are going to help you. Um, so for those of you who just want to export it in the most simple format, I think PNG is the best. Now, you can use PNG. I think PNG for design is the most default one, which is basic. And if you are planning to put it on the website, you can click on web and you can click on if you want to use it for an iOS device or an Android device, you can click on these two options. Now, as you can see, when I click on web, it says the selected assets will be exported at 1x and 2x. So it's going to be exported at double the size without loss in quality. So I can choose 1x and I can 2x and I can choose the destination. If I click on iOS, I can choose 1x, 2x and 3x. And if I click on Android, it says the selected assets will be exported at IGPI, MGPI, HGPI, uh, and all the, the depth per inch with increase in variables. So I can choose whatever all these I want and you know, it's going to go ahead and export them to me and export them. I can choose the destination again and click on all artboard. So that's the end of this video and I'll see you guys in my next video.